Hello and welcome to today's Trade Radiators video. Today we're going to have a look at the effects inhibitor has on heating system water with a very, very simple demonstration. Come and have a look. Basically, we've got two jars and inside each one of these jars we have a load of nails. I don't know if you can see them there. Both jars have got an equal amount of nails in them. Believe me, okay? Both jars have got an equal amount of nails in them. Basically, we're gonna fill up one of the jars with a diluted inhibitor and the other jar with just water. So let's do the easy one first. Cold water from the mains tap. And we're gonna fill it up just about halfway. So there's number one. And this next one here, we're going to put a quarter of the inhibitor in. Then a quarter of water in. That's about halfway now. I'm going to be pretty interested to see what happens with these. So we'll come back in a week or two's time and see what's happened to them. Right, so here we are, back again, like a couple of months pretty much later. It was going to be a week, but I thought we'd leave it. Let's really, really have a good look and see how bad it can get, okay, if you don't have inhibitor in your heating system. So imagine that what we're about to show you is basically what happens to the inside of your radiators if you ever do any work on the system and don't add inhibitor afterwards. It shows how important it is. So let's open up the cupboard and have a quick look now. You wouldn't believe the difference, it's insane. Right, let's have a closer look. So as you can see here, we've got our inhibited bottle of water just here. So we've got our diluted inhibitor that we added earlier on. This is, you know, we haven't falsified this at all. This is just a normal, proper experiment. As you can see, our nails in the bottom are completely fine. I mean, if I get a torch to shine under there, so look, as you can see, completely clear, no trouble whatsoever. They've survived this test perfectly intact. Now then, this is the tub that has basically just got water in it. Water and nails. Give it a good shake up. You can't actually see anything. It is just mud. Filthy, putrid mud. Um, shine the light on here. So getting absolutely nothing through here. I mean, if we put the two together, you can see the difference. I mean, they are absolutely revolting. You know? Horrid. So you've seen them with these lovely clear nails and these completely, well, rusted up and horrible nails, that that is a nice accurate representation for what happens on the inside of your radiators. So it's important to remember that if you do any work to your heating system whatsoever, that you re-inhibit the heating system, even if you don't drain it all the way down. So you don't drain all the radiators out and you still think you've got some inhibitor in there. It doesn't hurt to run your heating system on more inhibitor than what you need. So it's a very, very good idea for you to pop that in every time. Also, this stuff that you see here is kind of magnetic because it's the rust particles of, of a metal nail. Um, and therefore, sometimes it's a very good idea to have a magnetic filter on the return side to the boiler to protect the boiler. Uh, and also, it will remove a lot of this. When the boiler gets serviced or you do anything to the system, you go to your magnetic filter to, uh, to get that removed. So I hope our little experiment that's been going on over the past weeks and months has shown you why it's so important to add inhibitor to your heating system. If you need any more help or any more information, visit the website traderadiators.com. Until next time, have a lovely time and keep on inhibiting. See you later. Bye-bye.